anyone who has driven to Ely can tell. The bad corners. Curving road. The bad intersections. Narrow shoulders. And Bill Erzar can tell more. I don't know if you can see where the trees are up here is where they went off the road up here. A witness this to dozens of accidents off this stretch of Highway 169, three of them fatal. It's something that kind of sticks with you. I mean, and it's... It was all the drive he needed. No question about it. To join a task force to help MnDOT determine which sections of the Highway 169 corridor needed the most help. That project there will eliminate those three bad corners and improve the sight lines at two bad intersections. The task force started in 2000. Members determined the Eagles Nest Lake area to be the most hazardous. Hit some black ice coming around the corner there and lost control and was T-boned. The MnDOT plan calls for straightening and flattening the road while making the shoulders wider. As we've looked at alignment much closer to the current alignment with making some adjustments here and there. Federal dollars helped fund 80% of the multi-million dollar plan. The other 20% had to come from the state. And with so many other critical road projects, MnDOT officials say that was hard to get. That's why it took so long. A meeting about the project this week brought out years of frustration. Stupid place to put a road 100 years ago or whenever they did it. MnDOT says that while the highway improvement is important, the accident data they've collected along this area is no more than that of similar highways in the state. Frustrations aside, the project looks to move forward, improving the road and leaving serious accidents in the rearview mirror. Near Ely, Jennifer Austin, KBJR 6 and Range 11.